first, I'd like to say thank you to all the faculty and staff. Um, what this means to me is that when I didn't have someone that I could see that looked like me, that I could see that meant that I had a chance to do that thing that like, I knew I was meant to do. Now that many me, or that many one of you, will have that opportunity. And now, because of the allies, all of you that are here now, and the people that were with me in other places, I see some of you out there. And specifically, I want to call out the two people that are here today with me. Catherine Smith, who is a military spouse, and saw in her heart when I had my first child, who was born with Down syndrome, to step up and inspire, encourage, and support me, and go, you don't have to stop being what you are. You can still be a Marine and you can be a mom. And, and then Doug must have pick, who <laughs> the first time I met him comes rolling into my office in third mom. Lance Corporal, <laughs> I think, must have picked at that point. <laughs> and I'm sitting in my Friday afternoon civilian clothes, and he's like, with all due respect, ma'am, he didn't say that. He's like, well, why are you in civilian clothes? <laughs> and I was like, Lance Corporal could have called me and asked me what the uniform for the day was. Um, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> and been tight ever since. And that is the kind of relationships, that is the kind of culture, family that is chosen, community that is chosen, people that are chosen because they chose to be who we are. And that's what you need to keep. This picture is important to me because the one thing that I fought for my entire life was to be seen. I didn't know that when I was younger. But that's what it was about. And then a period of time when all of us were deploying like two or three times over and over again, being seen meant that people could attack you. But this is about what we've decided to do as a culture. And I'm not in the military anymore. I will always be a Marine. But the fight that I have right now isn't about diversity and inclusion. It's about what we've decided to do as a culture. And I'm not in the military anymore. I will always be a Marine. But the fight that I have right now isn't about diversity and inclusion. It isn't about like where we came from. It's about proving that we, the Marine people, because it's IT, of course, in the West Coast, <laughs> we know what we're doing. This kind of leadership, this kind of diversity, it's about performance and enhancements. It's how we're gonna win the war against our cyber threats. It's how we're gonna win the war against all of our nation's enemies. It's how we're gonna win the wars that are gonna come before we even know we're in. And I am proud today that I'm standing here, not the picture of me and Sergeant Battles drew it, not because I remember that day exactly how much like attitude I had. Ask Colonel Roth about it when he comes up. But because every day that I have to convince another veteran that they are the value. They are the reward. They are what's relevant and what's going to propel us forward, both in corporate and culture, and for the future of what we do to include AI and preventing Skynet. <laughs> because what everybody else doesn't have is the ethics, the dedication, and the people. And that is what that represents to me, to my daughters, to my friends, to my allies. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Thank you all.